Good afternoon. Welcome to the Wine Club San Francisco. My name is Trey Blankenship. I'm the Regional Sales Manager for Joseph Phelps Vineyards. I've um, had the fortune of working for this fantastic winery for about 16 years. And today I'd like to take some time to tell you a little bit about uh, some of the wines we make. First, I want to talk a little bit about our uh, 2010 Sauvignon Blanc. Uh, it's a varietal that many people aren't aware we've been producing since 1973. Uh, so 2010. Sauvignon Blanc from St. Helena, 100% estate fruit, 100% varietal. Uh, we do barrel ferment and barrel age this wine for about 10 to 12 months in large neutral French oak casks or punch-ons. And then we do about 10 to 12% malolactic fermentation with the wine. Stylistically speaking, I'd say that we are still a very classic style of Sauvignon Blanc. Uh, it has nice melon notes, it's uh, a little bit fuller and rounder on the palate. The acidity is kept in check by that malolactic, so it's not too green or grassy, which you see a lot from the New World or New Zealand styles. So the uh, 2007 Freestone Pinot Noir, uh, Lisa Heredia, the winemaker for us at Freestone, really tries to produce Pinot Noirs that are more of a minimalist style and that you create wines that um, really speak of the site and soil and you really get the goût de terroir, a taste of the earth from these wines. Um, once again, in my opinion, a very classic style of Pinot Noir. Uh, some nice, really good red fruit, getting hints of cranberry and a little bit of rhubarb. Um, as it is the 2007 vintage, it is a little bit older, so it does have a little bit more um, of a bouquet starting to develop. You're getting good oak spice and uh, barrel characteristics in the wine as well. Mm, nice, bright spice in the wine. Wow, really does a wonderful job of coating the palate and um, really good acidity right in the back. It really helps highlight all those wonderful, bright, fruity characteristics in the wine. Now, last, uh, but definitely and by no means least, I'd like to take an opportunity to talk a little bit about the uh, 2008 Insignia, which we've just released. And the Insignia is the flagship wine from Joseph Phelps Vineyards, as I mentioned at the beginning. Um, and this wine is what we feel is the best representation of what the vintage has to offer us. This particular vintage is 89% Cabernet Sauvignon, 7% Petit Prado, and 4% Merlot. Um, it's still very young, which is why I have the candidate here. And um, we're featuring fruit from vineyards throughout Napa Valley, including such historic appellations as the Stags Leap Appellation, um, Oakville Appellation, and then of course our home property in St. Helena. And more exceptional vintages, this is a very long-lived wine. Historically speaking, I recommend a minimum of 10 years in the cellar with this. The 2008, um, it's got some really great structure to it, really good firm tannins that we get from the Petit Pro and the Cabernet Sauvignon, and it's got some really good acidity in the back palate as well. So this is a wine that has a lot of structure to it, and as I like to say, a lot of pucker power. So it's definitely something that you want to let breathe or lay down for several years. Mm, lots of great cassis and dark fruit with this. There's some hints of blueberry as well. Very big on the palate, lots of really assertive tannins, uh, definitely a wine that screens for a nice big thick steak, um, mm, fantastic stuff.